Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is Todd and Sarah 5.1 and 5.2 wish to vet but are unaware that they share a common great-great-grandmother 1.2 who was heterozygous for a very rare autosomal recessive disease. The probability that their first child will be affected is and you have to do certain calculations in order to give an answer. As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So how many generations we have here? One, two, three, four and five. And we are told that Todd and Sarah, five, one and five, two, five, one and five, two. So this is Todd, this is Sarah. And this is their uh, great, great grandmother, who is going to be common ancestor for both of them. And because this is recessive genetic disorder, autosomal recessive genetic disorder, her genotype is going to be heterozygous, capital A and small a. Her phenotype is going to be normal, but she is going to be a carrier of this rare genetic disorder. Now I want to change color and want to show that other people who unrelated to this great, great grandmother, meaning are not descendants, uh, we assume that they all phenotypically and genotypically normal and have two normal dominant alleles. So the genotype is going to be capital A, capital A. So let me finish it first. So all these people are not going to be descendants of the great, great grandmother. And all the rest are going to be descendants and uh, also can inherit this recessive allele. For example, let's take a look. What is the probability that this son of this couple are going to inherit from his mother recessive allele? Of course, from his father's side, he only can inherit dominant allele A. It doesn't matter whether it this one or this one. It's going to be normal and dominant. But from mother side, chances are 50-50. So he can get dominant allele or recessive allele A. We, of course, only interested in recessive allele A. So probability would be one half that he is going to inherit recessive allele A. Now we are interested in this person, daughter of this couple. And of course, from uh, mother side, she only can get dominant allele A, but from father side, it can be dominant allele A or recessive allele A. And again, chances are 50% that she is going to inherit recessive allele A. And the same is true when we would take a look at this person. She can inherit from her father's side only dominant allele A and from her mother's side chances again 50-50 that she is going to inherit recessive allele A. And the same is true here from father's side. So here is the father's side. This person thought only can get dominant allele A and from the mother's side again uh, chances 50-50 that he's going to inherit recessive allele A. So let me put this one half here, one half here, and one half here. And for the other branch of this family, uh, chances are going to be the same. So we have one half here that this female would inherit this recessive allele, and one half would be here, chances that this male would inherit recessive allele from his uh, mother's side. One half chances that this female would inherit this recessive allele from father's side. And one half chances that this female, or her name is Sarah, would inherit this recessive allele A from her mother's side and would be heterozygous. What we have found so far, we have found probability that Todd and Sarah would be heterozygous. Only if they are going to be heterozygous, their child uh, sex here is not important. Uh, we 
would use this sign to specify the child of unspecified sex and in order for a child to be affected he have to inherit recessive allele from both sides from father side so another one half and from mother side so another one half here in this case he is going to be homozygous recessive and would be affected now we just have to find how many passes we have one two three four five for a child to get recessive allele from a father side and one two three four and five uh, this is pass to get a recessive allele uh, from mother side we can say that chances are going to be one half in a power of 10 or one half multiplied by itself 10 times so one two three four five six four more times so now let's count one half multiplied by one half is going to be one quarter multiplied by one half one eighth multiplied by one half is going to be one over 16 multiplied by one half one over 32 one over 64 1 over 128 1 over 256 uh, 1 over 512 and 1 over 1024 and this is going to be our answer 1 over 1024 is the probability that child of the Todd and Sarah is going to be affected with this rare autosomal recessive genetic disorder. So now let's choose the answer. It's going to be answer D. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.